Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Materials, the show where we demystify every node in the Unreal Engine Material Graph. Today we're going to be looking at the one minus node. What does the one minus node do? I've got this whack ass engine texture right here. I, this is, I have no context what this is used for. Uh, if we were to get this and chuck it into a one minus, you will simply find out that everything that was white is now black and everything that was black is now white. Now, why is this? So we're gonna go into paint. We're going to draw a line as we usually do. This is gonna be one up here. This is gonna be zero down here. This is our input values. Um, they can range anywhere from zero to one. And what the one minus node is doing, it is subtracting the value of the input from one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remap this in real time. We've got 0 0.5 here and 0 0.75 and one and 0 0.25, blah, blah, blah. So let's begin at the start down here. So at zero, we're gonna subtract zero from one, which equals one, fair enough. At 0 0.25, we subtract that from one and we get 0 0.75, 0 0.5, subtracted from one is 0 0.5 and 0 0.75 subtracted from one is 0 0.25. And last but literally not the least is one minus one is zero. And so when this checks out, if I had any spatial awareness whatsoever, this would be a straight line going from one down to zero. This is also known as inverting the texture. So in essence, what this node does is it remaps zero to one and one to zero. So let's just say I was using this texture as a mask to offset some vertices. So what this little operation here is doing, it is offsetting based on the texture's value, the vertex normal by 20 units into the world displacement because I'm tessellating this cube. And if we have a look at that, you can see that all of the places where there is the white texture, it's it's jutting out, it's bumpy. Um, but maybe I wanted it to be the black parts that are jutting out and these to be in. Um, and so in that case, what I would do is go one minus, put that into the effect instead. And now all of a sudden it's the black parts that are jutting out of the cube and the white parts remain normal. Now this is a terrible example, but another thing you can use the one minus for, sort of inverse multiplicative functions. Uh, I've got no idea what it would be called, but essentially you'll know if you've followed my super simple math tutorial here, then you would know that when we divide a texture, we basically make the white parts less white without affecting the, the dark parts. So if we went divide here, and I plug this into the base color and we'll put a parameter in just so we can doodle with it. So you can see as I start to go from dividing by one up to dividing by, you know, infinity, essentially, um, you can see everything gets darker, but the gradients are maintained. And that's because our line here, when we're dividing something, we are squishing it, right? So dividing it by two would squish it down to here. You can see there's still a smooth gradient no truncation. If we divided it by four, then it would go down here. If we were to subtract from it instead, what would end up happening is this, and this would all, you know, get truncated below zero. And so we'd get some harsh edges. That's all well and good. But what if we wanted to do the same thing to the black values of this texture rather than the white parts? We wanted to bring the black parts up without affecting that gradient. Now, what we could do is first we could one minus invert the texture, then divide it, and then one minus it again to bring it back to the, the white parts of the texture, black parts of the texture. Uh, if I hit save on that, you see that nothing's changed, but as I start to up the divide value, it's the black parts that are increasing. We still maintain all of those smooth gradients even though the black values are getting lighter. Now, just as a little reference point, this is what would happen if I just added or subtracted a value. So adding 
you know, it kind of looks like it's doing the same thing, except now we've completely truncated all of the, the white values above one. And also if I did it the inverse, you can see that we get really harsh edges in the blacks now, as opposed to maintaining all the gradients and whatnot. So that basically covers what the one minus node is. To reiterate, it is just an inversion. It remaps the zero to one and the one to zero of any given texture. It can be really useful in conjunction with simple math operations. And also if you wanna use the opposite end of a mask. So like say you had an effect or something, but you wanted the effect to affect the black parts instead of the white parts. You'd use a one minus node to change the, the value of the mask that you're using. So, as always, if you have any further questions, leave a comment in the comments below or join our Discord. You can DM me personally and I'll help fix whatever issues you have with Unreal Engine. If you really, really enjoy what we do here on the channel, don't forget to check out our Patreon below. And if you want to help out but don't have the financial means to do so, just liking and subscribing is a huge help. So, with that, I say goodbye. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>